Dan Campbell did an interview on XM Radio, and he talked about the Detroit Lions run game and having a two-headed monster. Want to talk about it because I absolutely love it. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Why is that? It's because we're trying to grow this channel, get to 8,000 subscribers. With your help, it can definitely happen with the NFL season nearly here next week, preseason game. So you don't want to miss out on the post-game shows, live shows, and videos when we get down into the nitty-gritty. Our head coach, Dan Camp, spoke in an interview for XM Radio about having the blueprint for a 2 Headed monster in the backfield says, man, I think you need to back that push comes to shove. He can carry the load. Campbell said somebody you feel like you can give the ball to 20, 25 times a game potentially. And then you need a specialty guy. He's much more. He carries the scalpel and can slice you up. He can hurt you in a pass game. Potentially. I'm talking about Gibbs. Obviously get him out there to do a few more things because he's that. That's kind of what. I know, oh my God. So, first off, I 100% agree that the Detroit Lions are building a two-headed monster in the backfield, and the importance of that is really going to be the success of their offense in 2023. You need to be able to run the football, obviously, on the road, and when it gets cold out, and it shows respect to the passing game, and it opens everything up. Last year, we finally seen a team that actually ran the football. You know, we've been talking about running the football as Lions fans for many, many decades, and it's been a long time. You see what can happen when you run the football. You win football games. We did last year on the road. Now we have an upgraded running back room, in my opinion. you got David Montgomery, who's the thumper. He breaks tackles. He's good in between the tackles. He's going to gain you you, those essential gritty two, three yards. And if he gets open, he can run you down. He's a very good running back. And we know this from the Chicago Bears, where he beat us down on multiple occasions. He is essential to fill the Jamal Williams role, not just, you know, at the goal line where he was getting it done, but we're talking about even any part of the field. You know, getting these these small yards is important, third and one, to keep the drive going for the Detroit Lions to sustain long drives and wear a defense out. You have to have that type of running back that can do that. And Montgomery is that type of running back who can get it done to be a part of a two-headed monster. Then you got Jameer Gibbs, who is a weapon. Yes, he can run the football. Yes, he can use as a wide receiver. Yes, he's good in the screen game. Yes, the jet sweeps. And if he gets open, he's going down for the for the big count. I mean, he's taking it all the way to the house if it can happen. When you have a player like that on the field on offense, defenses got to change how they do their formations, how they defend. And he is a player that's going to open it up for every single other player on offense. And he is definitely that lightning to the thunder of David Montgomery. When you have players of... Their caliber, it is going to make this offense even better than it was last year. I think both of these players are an upgrade on the field from Jamal Williams to DeAndre Swift. I do. I think Montgomery is a better in between the tackle running back. He's better breaking tackles. And I think Jameer Gibbs is a better speed, dynamic running back that can take it to the house. We've seen multiple occasions that DeAndre Swift would get caught. I don't think Gibbs will get caught if he's a, he's open. He's that fast, one of the fastest people on the field. And he's a nightmare matchup for linebackers. You cannot pair a linebacker on Jameer Gibbs. Good luck with that. It's called 
making big-time plays. And I know we talk about wide receivers all the time and the importance to have wide receivers, how we've ha- always had good wide receivers on this football team. Calvin Johnson, Herman Moore. I mean, you just look back to all the dynamic players that we've had. Golden Tate. But if you don't have a run game, what does it give you? Stats. But we need victories. We got a good wide receiver core, but we needed to have a monster, a two-headed monster to break teams' backs. Because when it gets cold out, you have to be able to run the football. You have to. Both in between and on the outside. And you got players that can do both of that. That opens up the whole offense. And it forces the defense to defend the whole field. Very difficult for them to do. And it creates mismatches in the wide receiver game and all, all over the field. Thus making big time plays for Detroit in this offense. And ultimately, the importance of wearing down a defense so in the fourth quarter, you can pretty much go any direction you want to go. If you want to, it, 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 Even if they know you're running the football, you still run it down their throat for four, five-yard carry, six-yard carry. That's how you win and become a physical, dominant football team. You know, we're a kneecap-biting team. We want to be a physical style of football. No more finesse. Well, guess what? That's what we're becoming, a team that runs the football. And if you're running half the time or even more, and it's successful, not a lot teams can do to you at that point. And it keeps offenses on the sideline when you run the football. It drains the clock, time of possession. All these things factor into ways for the Detroit Lions to win and to host a playoff game and win a playoff game. And it does help out Jared Goff when you have players who can run the football, then it's easy for him to to find his matches. You want Jamison Williams to be open? Well, guess what? When you have a two-headed monster in the backfield, that's going to happen. And Dan Campbell is 100% correct. And we've seen it in training camp. It's working. So I'm very happy that... This is the type of football team that we are turning into, a physical running football team. It may not be a run first, right? Maybe 50-50, but that's better than 80-20. It's better than 90-10. And sometimes, guess what? You may be running a whole lot in games, way more than you pass, because the run defense is booty cheeks. Then some games you may have to pass a little bit more than run because they're they're pass defense is booty cheeks and they're good at run defense. That's how you can do it. You can switch it up either way. You have the players in Gibbs, in Montgomery to get it done. You have the players to make a difference for the 2023 NFL season. And I'm so happy to see that this is the type of team that we're developing into. And don't just forget about those two. Justin Jackson, Craig Reynolds, Mo Ibrahim, they're in the mix as well. Mo Ibrahim is exactly what a poor man's David Montgomery is. The bowling ball right down your throat. So if Montgomery were to get hurt, you do have a guy who can do that type of role. Justin Jackson and Craig Reynolds, they have, you know, Justin Jackson a little bit probably more of the flash here. And then you've got Craig Reynolds who's kind of all around. So their running back room is pretty damn good from top to bottom. Don't know if Jamar Jefferson going to make the team. Don't know about Jason Cabinda. They're in the mix as well. But they have players in this run game. And just like they're stating in this article, when the Saints had Mark Ingram and Alvin Kamara, that's kind of what they're doing here with Montgomery and Gibbs. The Lions have the players to get it done in the run game. And that spells great news for the Lions season this year and going forward because they're going to be on this team for a little bit. But folks, 
Let me know your thoughts about having a two-headed monster. Let me know your thoughts about the Lions run game and Dan Campbell and what he believes this team could be. Throw that in the comment section. Subscribe and hit that like button. With that said, folks, adios.